hello everyone welcome back to my channel so in today's tutorial we'll be learning how to make this simple butterfly dress so please if you have not subscribed to this channel please subscribe press the notification bell to get notified whenever i upload a new video like and share this video and don't forget to turn on your post notification so that you can get notified whenever i upload a new video thank you so in today's tutorial we'll be learning how to make a butterfly dress this is so this will take you less than 20 minutes to make very easy to make so i'll be using this fabric so to cut out your fabric you mark out your measurement you take your measurement from the middle of your neckline to where you want your sleeve to stop where you want it to stop that is where you take the measurement so what i have here is 19 inches so what i for my middle of my neckline to where i want my sleeve to stop is 18 inches i added one inches to it because i'll be sewing because, I, because I'll be sewing this part all the way around. So this is it. Then you fold it into two. You are cutting the front and the back together. So after after you measure out the 18 inches, you divide it by two. You times it by two. So that will give you for the front, and that will also give you for the back. After that, you take the full length of your dress. At this point, you really do not need to cut the shoulder. You don't need to cut it on this part. This part has to be together. So, for example, after taking out, you take, for example, if you are working with the length 60, you times the length by 2. That means they will not be joining on the shoulder side. So, for example, this is the fabric. You fold it like this. And you also fold it like this. So, this is how you fold it. So this is how you fold it. On this shoulder part, there's no need for there's no need for you to cut it. So this part will just be like this. There's no need for the cutting. I'm working with, with length 58. I added the extra one inch, 1.5 inches for the folding. So the first thing I'll do, if you look at this this um, fabric very well, you notice that it has pattern. You can see it it has pattern. So I have to join it. I have to join it in order for the pattern to be the same. You can see I have to join it because the length of this Akara fabric is 45 inches and I'm working with length 58 inches. So I have to join it. So this is why I join it. I have to join it here in order for me to get my length and in order for this pattern to be the same thing as the one under. If you see this pattern like this and you see this one, you see that is the same thing so i have to cut it and join it to get my full length and because of that this other shoulder part i have to also join it you can see that i have to also join this part to make it one first thing i'll do from the shoulder line i'll mark out the ham hole i'll be using 10 inches you can divide your bust measurement by 6 plus 1.5 since it's a free dress i don't want the ham hole to be too tight so i'll be i'll be using 10 inches so this is where I have my 10 inches so where I have that 10 inches I'll place a bust measurement divide by 4 a bust measurement is 42 divide by 4 I have 10.5 so I'll be adding extra 1.5 inches at this point you can add as many inches as you want so I'll be adding extra 1.5 for ease so this is it for me, I'll measure out the waist. I'll be using 18 inches. So this is the waist. Then, for, so from the from the shoulder to the hip, I'll be using 24 inches. So this is it. So where I have my waist, so where I have the waist, I'll put place the waist measurement plus 1.5 inches. My waist measurement is 39 inches. So I have 9.75. So I'll just make it 10 inches plus 1.5 inches allowance so I'll mark it here then I also place a hip measurement it's 46 divided by 4 I have 11.5 I'll place 11.5 then I'll add extra 1.5 inches to it so the next thing I'll do I'll connect the lines I'll, do, I'll connect the line from here to this point then to this point from this hip line i'll mark it straight down like this all the way down 
I already know the line, so this is the line. So I'll just mark it all the way down. So this is the line. Then on the lower part, so on the lower part, I'll just create an opening on the lower part. So I'll mark out 17 inches. So that means after sewing, my sewing will stop here. So this part will be free. So, so this is what I have. So you can see very easy to make. So when I take it to my sewing machine, I will just start my sewing from this point. Then I'll stop here. So exactly what we have here, the same measurement I have here, the same measurement I have here, like this, I'll turn the fabric to the other side, then measure out exactly what I measured here on the other side of the fabric, which is this side. For the neck, I'll use 3.5 inches by 6 inches for the front. So I'll connect it like this. To mark, I'll connect it like this to just meet this line. Then for the back, I don't want the back to be too low like this. So I'll be using one inches for the back. So this will be for the back neckline. So I'll cut out the neckline for the back. Then I'll cut out then I'll cut out the neckline for the front. Then I'll cut out the neckline for the front. So I'll open it up like this. Then cut out the front neckline. So I've cut out the front neckline. This is the front and this is the back. So the next thing I'll do, what the same measurement I have here, the measurement I have from here to here, from here to here, I'll do the same thing for the other side. So I've opened it up. You can see that the same measurement I have here is the same thing here. The same shape I have here, the same shape I also have here. So the next thing I'll do, I'll go to my sewing machine. I'll sew it from here to that point where I marked out at the bottom. I'll sew it from here also to that point where I marked out at the bottom. Then after that, I'll fold this edge. You can see that the edge is rough. So I'll fold it like this. And like this, I'll fold it all the way around. Then after that, I'll use my bias to turn the neckline. So this is the neckline, you can see. I'll use my bias tape to turn the neckline. So you can see that this, so you can see that this particular design does not take too much time to make. So I'll quickly go take it to my sewing machine, then I'll show you the final look. I've gone ahead to sew the neckline and also the side. I've folded the edge, as you can see. So for the belt, this hole I, I created here, for my for my waistline, for my waistline went up by two inches. Then I just draw a circle, yeah, because this circle I'll be passing the belt. So after drawing the circle, you just fold it like this and cut out the size of circle you want. So this will enable you fix your belt. So this will enable you tie. So this will enable you tie your belt. You, you you create the O on this side and create it on the other side. Then after that, I sew it together. Then after so so after that, I sew it together. Then I'll use my bias tape to turn it inside out to make it neat. I'll use my bias tape to turn it inside out. You don't have to make the hole very big because this one looks as if it's big. So you don't have to make the hole very big, very small, something that can fit into your belt. So I'll use my bias tape to turn it inside out. So for the butterfly, if you notice that my this butterfly is not very wide, you can see it is not very wide because this is how she wants it. She wants it short. So if you want your butterfly to be very full and flowing, that means you increase your, you increase the measurement from your shoulder, you increase the measurement from your neckline to where you want your sleeve to stop. You can decide to extend it all the way down so that you have extra extra fabric by the side or better still you can use your hip measurement for example you take your hip measurement you can decide to add extra 10 inches to it or extra 
you can start to add extra 10 or extra 11 inches so that 11 inches will serve as the side of the dress so with that you can also calculate the amount of fabric you want by the side so i'll so thank you for watching don't forget to like share and subscribe